Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookandwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. Today is another episode of M Scrapbusters <laughs> and we are making easy, easy, easy pockets and these are matchbook style uh, fold over or flip pockets. And super easy if you have some cutoffs. They don't have to be as long as mine. You can make these pockets any size you want. So just to show you that, I'm going to get a smaller cutoff from my stash. So these are 12 by 12 cutoffs. This is just a little piece of drawing paper from my stash. And I'll show you in just a second how all that comes together you can make these teeny tiny for little bitty uh, pieces of ephemera or something that would be so cute so this was a 12 by 12 cut off it is now this is the biggest one that i will make that i have in my hand here this is almost four and a half inches wide by 12. and all i did was fold it up how much i wanted at the bottom as my pocket so i will seal two edges and ink around it and then that'll be my pocket there i love that horse so i wanted that to be on the inside if you have directional paper that's something to, to consider which way you want it to fold and then i folded it over and yes my writing on this side is upside down but i'm going to be decorating on that so i'm not worried about that at all i use my bone folder to make sure of my you know creases my folds then I punched a little circle, and this is a one inch circle. Punch and punch that little circle. I'm going to put it down here. We're going to attach it at the bottom, but leave the top open. So that way, that is our closure for our top of our matchbook pocket. Ain't that cute? And ain't it simple? Oh, I love how simple it is. So cute. So simple and made from cutoffs and scraps i mean in the cutoffs who are we kidding they stay in our scrap pile for eons and we forget about it what we've got so we might as well just get the cutoffs out get a little scrap bowl out for our little circle and then have us a nice little ephemera pocket you know <sighs> We save way too much stuff, y'all, and just look at it and hoard it and don't use it. So let's get it all out and use it. Now I'm inking the fold. I'm inking uh, around the edges. I'm going to open this up and ink the top of what's going to be my pocket. And I have rounded corners on this paper also with my corner rounder. And then I'm going to go on this back side. Uh, a lot of these pockets probably I will just glue into my journal on the pages and have it as a place to put ephemera. But some people might want to send these snail mail. They might want to do some Christmas ones and send gift cards in them for um, their nieces or nephews or cousins or, you know, whatever. Whoever you buy for great gift idea instead of a card or have this as a unique card and then put your little gift card or your money or whatever right inside that pocket that would be very cute but these can easily just be used as journal pockets that you glue down just the back side and have it on the page and have a fun decoration that is functional have lots and lots of comments from people um i love that but it's not functional it's just decoration yeah it is it's just decoration sometimes and you know sometimes that's what i need when i look through my journals i need some kind of decoration to make me happy or make me smile you know everything doesn't have to have a function now i will show you how i folded this no measurements whatsoever it's just eyeball <laughs> But I'll show you how I folded this in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get this glued down. And then um, we can let it dry. And we'll see how that works on there. But we need to 
set it and forget it for a little bit. Let it dry. Okay, I'm going to come down really low to the bottom of the pocket and put on a little circle and just make sure that it is all good and yep that's gonna work and trying to eyeball the middle it's good and um, adhered on the bottom I'm gonna take my flap out just in case glue were to seep up I don't want this to be a seal just a pretty little sealed something you know and it not be a pocket so I'm gonna leave that off to the side now here is that drawing paper um, we could do a lot of decorating to the drawing paper since it has no pattern on it whatsoever I'm going to round all four corners and then I'm just going to fold up ever how deep I want my pocket and I'll ink this for you in just a minute so you can see it a little better and then I'm just going to fold down to where I have about an inch or maybe three-fourths space here before this flap gets all the way to the bottom. It's just a prettier look in my opinion instead of going all the way to the bottom. You know? I don't even need my bone folder with this one. So I'm going to ink all of this so you can see where my folds are and then we're going to punch out a circle from our scrap pile and get that going. I can go ahead and glue my pocket together on this other one. Okay, you can see that a little bit better now. And let's get a nice piece of scrap to put on this one. Let's get this fall looking paper. And get us a nice little one inch circle punched out ink that let's go ahead and ink our sides of our pocket down just a little bit of glue on both sides and fold it back up and then fold this down and figure out where we need to glue that on over just a little bit I think Yep, and then I'm just going to eyeball my glue and put that little circle on, get it set where I want it, and then pop my top flap out so it can dry. Okay, I mean that's essentially it y'all. Look how easy that is. Ain't it? Super duper simple. I love, love, love making matchbook style stuff. It's crazy pretty and crazy easy. And this is just like a little one sheet wonder, y'all. You don't even have to cut anything. It's just folding and gluing. Ain't that fun and easy. Look at there. So we're pretty much dry there. Got a nice little matchbook effect matchbook style ephemera pocket and we will decorate in just a minute I'm going to let them set aside and dry all the way let's trim this off here so we can use this piece this is a gorgeous piece of paper it come from one of the die cuts with the view packs and I think I want all of that on the outside so I'm going to fold up. I'm going to put some tall ephemera in this one. This one is a very skinny one also. So we're looking at just a touch over two and a half inches wide. And then this was a 12 by 12 cut off. And I'm going to fold down. Now that is too tall in my opinion. So all I'm going to do is trim the top off. 
So if you have a pocket, especially a skinny one like this, and what you're trying to make just doesn't look right, see, and that can go in my scrap pile. Beautiful piece of scrap. You can just trim off the top and make it whatever length you want. See, that looks a lot better proportion-wise to me. So I'm going to leave myself about three-fourths of an inch at the bottom here, not folding all the way down. Okay, and then I'm going to round my corners, just cause I like that look, you don't have to do that. Okay, and on this one, since my pocket goes really high, I'm going to give myself a thumb notch and I'm going to do it with a big one. And I'm going to do a deep one so that I'm able to get my stuff out of there because it does go so high here. See? So if I put some really tall ephemera in here, I can get to it easily and it's not going to go over that fold when I'm reaching for it. So really deep thumb pull there. And I'm going to ink all of my edges on it. I'm using gathered twigs. I didn't tell y'all that in the beginning. That's my vintage color of choice here lately. I love it. And don't know why we didn't already have it in the shop. I need to do a comparison of gathered twigs, vintage photo, and um, walnut stain. That's my three go-tos, brown go-tos. And I need to do a um, comparison video for y'all, don't I? Just to show the different shades of brown and which one does or looks like what you know now I like that one it kind of looks like a little bit of a coin kind of look let's just go ahead and use the same ledger style paper and let's get a little bit of that ledger in there ink around this one cute Oh yeah, I like that. Let's turn it around this way. And I'm going to move it that way. So I need a little bit of dot of glue right there. I just like the look of the one inch circle. Now if y'all want to do a bigger circle, by all means do that. Um, if you go bigger though, you'll need this part of your pocket a little bit wider. So your top flap has room to come out of it without bending it too much. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue down my two pocket sides. Okay. And set that aside and let it dry. We've got three done. Let's just go ahead and do one more. Four. Let's round it up. <laughs> Let's not be odd. Let's be even. Okay, so I'm going to cut off with uh, die cuts with a view. They usually do not um, cut off that. They just put the hang hole <laughs> in with <laughs> the paper. And so you have that to deal with when it comes to die cuts with a view. But they make beautiful stuff, so... I'll work with that. Okay, let's make a more shallow pocket than this one was. So we're working with the same, almost same width. This one might be a tinge wider. So maybe just a little bit, maybe a two and a fourth, maybe. Maybe. Okay, and then when I fold this down, that's too tall for me, which that would make a cute one because of all that gold foil that's on that paper. That is some gorgeous paper. Um, I could go down 
just a little bit. Ooh, we're not straight on that cut. I must not have cut that straight whenever I was making whatever project it was. Ooh, it is not. Let's straighten out our edges a little bit. So this is going to be a skinny mini. Got to do what you got to do though, right? Yep. My edges were not straight. And then that little piece got... Oh, well. Looks fine. Now let's see when we fold that down if it looks a little better. Lines up a little better. Yes. It's, it still has a little bit of... I don't know what in the world happened to this one. You know what? Let's just make a skinny one. Let's just get that nice and straight. And we'll just have to make a skinny pocket. Because when I trimmed it so close, it rippled up the edges a little bit. So... This one will just be a skinny mini pocket. Oh, mucho better. Okay. Um, like I was saying, I like the look of that one just because of all that gold foil that's on it. So, I'm going to leave that one as is. It's going to be a tall matchbook pocket. Okay, and I'm going to round my corners all the tools papers inks glues everything punches got from scrapbookingwithme.com i get that question all the time but that's why i intro all of my videos the way I do because I want you to know that I am affiliated with scrapbookingwithme.com. I am co-owner at scrapbookingwithme.com and that's where I get my supplies. Where do I get my supplies? <laughs> at scrapbookingwithme.com. <laughs> uh, so if you ever have a question, if I have something that I am using and that it, it did not come from our shop, I will tell you. I promise you I will. But just go ahead and assume that it came from our shop. Cute. Now you're not going to be able to see all of that too much because this is a dark pattern paper. But we will be able to see the inside and that is pretty. We could even add another little pocket at the top here or a belly band or something like that to hold some more stuff or just decorate it whatever we want to do that's pretty that's very pretty I like it a little bit dirtier since it is showing up and it is darker that looks nice now I don't have to put a uh, thumb hold but I think I'm going to maybe just a little shallow one like so these other ones the pocket was so shallow there was no little you know thumb hold needed on that one so then i'm gonna glue down my pocket sides like so and then figure out what scrap I want to use as my closure. Um, I don't want it too colorful. We might decorate the circle too since this is a darker one. So I could just go with something that is not. Oh, I like that though. Let's just do that. Something that's not too um, bold or anything, but this is pretty. Let's use that. And let's put that um, paper that I just punched out of back in my scrap pile. <laughs> uh, I promise I'll use it again. No worries with that at all. Okay, so I've got quite a bit more on this one at the bottom. 
So, um, yeah, I could use a bigger uh, closure circle if I wanted to, but I think that one's just too cute. So I'm going to leave it as is, and I'm going to put my glue there. Put on my circle. And then pull out that top tab. See, I got a little bit of glue on that one. So I'm going to pull that out and make sure. Look how pretty that looks like. Luxury or something. <laughs> <laughs> We're making luxury pockets over on me, Crafty Scrapper. And it's totally out of scraps. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so on the insides, you can decorate to your heart's content. You can decorate the little circle if you want to. And then on the outside, you definitely want to decorate this part. So let's just start collaging a little bit. And um, remember that, that I just used. <laughs> let's, let's pull that out. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a collage on this side, maybe, with a floral die cut of some kind, I think. So let's find that, figure out what we want to put on there. Look at that. Oh, I like that. It's bold. And this is a bigger one. This is a wider one. So it works just as is. Let's do something like that with a little uh, word label. Mm hmm you think? Pretty. So, anyway, this week has been very good at the house. And um, been getting a lot accomplished. Um, I did, I think, maybe my very first, if maybe just the second time, uh, a for sale post on my personal Facebook you know how your friends on Facebook will um, put uh, things for sale, get cash, Venmo, whatever, must pick up by blah blah date. I hardly ever do anything like that. But we had some bigger stuff that we were needing to get rid of and I, I almost said hate. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a hatred. I hate yard sales. I hate them. Um, I just, I don't... Uh, I like stopping at them if there's furniture or something like that that my cousin has a refinishing shop and so if I find something for her you know I see furniture I'll stop at one um, I don't really shop clothes from a yard sale I don't shop shoes from a yard sale I, don't, I, I just I don't like yard and I hate putting a yard sale together and I hate cleaning up after a yard sale and then trying to figure out Getting someone to come pick up your stuff that you have left over after a yard sale is like a, it's like pulling teeth to get people to come get the free stuff. Thrift stores or even donation shops, y'all. I'm sorry. It is the hardest thing trying to get them to come and pick up the stuff. They say, oh yes, anytime you have a yard sale, Call us. We'll come pick it up. And then it's two weeks later and they still haven't come picked it up. It's on a trailer in your garage because you can't leave it out in the weather. Everything will ruin. And they still haven't come picked it up. I know. I'm going off on a rant on having a yard sale. But it's just... I, I can't handle it. It just ramps up my anxiety and <laughs> my stress level. And then people are dickering over a 25 cent vase that you <laughs> got sitting there. They want to give you 10 cents instead of 25 cents. It's just, I, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. So anyway, we had that um, <laughs> where <laughs> we put the post up and um, we were getting rid of a couch that we had. We wanted a bigger couch, a fluffier one, a more comfortable one that had... Uh, recliners on each end because that's just the stage of life we're at. <laughs> we, need we need recliners everywhere. Um, we have two rocker recliners already in the living room 
And so, yeah, we needed a couch with um, recliners on both ends. I mean, that's just, that is just the uh, way it goes. And there's Brandon, you know, I'm trying to get the backing off this. And there's Brandon calling me. He's probably like, are you talking about me on your video? <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we needed, an, we needed another way to, to recline <laughs> in our living room. So... Uh, we got a new couch. Our other one just was not comfortable. It was, it was, it was pretty much like a studio kind of style couch, and was pretty much meant for apartment living. <laughs> um, it had a, sh a a chase. I almost said chase. <laughs> it had a chase lounge on the end of it that was neat, and it had a storage bin under that um, chase. That was also neat, but Brandon kind of looked at it and asked my thoughts about it, and I was like, mm. the next thing I knew, it was coming in the mail. Yeah, he ordered it without really telling me that <laughs> he was ordering it. He had just asked me about it, you know, and so this huge box comes in the mail, and we're having to, you know, take it apart and, you know, all this stuff. And I'm like, what? What? <sighs> so, anyway. <laughs> uh, we had the couch and I didn't have a recliner or a rocker or anything at the time. So, my spot to sit was on that couch. And my back hurt. And <laughs> everything hurt. And I love to rock. I'm just that person. I love to rock. I just was not happy with that couch. So we moved that to a different spot in the living room. And we got the rocker recliners. And then Brandon was like, okay, nobody is ever sitting on that couch. I mean, we need, we have, we have company at least once a month um, for our family, extended family. Uh, dinners and he was like we need something that somebody wants to sit on I said yeah we do so anyways he and his dad were out one day and um, he uh, went by a furniture place that his dad knows the owner and he found that the new couch that we've got great deal on it um, it's nice and cushiony and fluffy and um, it's got the recliners on both ends. I mean, and when you lay that sucker back, you're flat. It is awesome. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so soft. It's so comfortable. It's just, it's just good. It's a good napping couch, you know? So anyway, we needed to get rid of the old couch, the little studio apartment couch. <laughs> and he had a um, riding lawnmower in the back that wasn't working. It was a craftsman, and he just couldn't get it to work. He would work on it, work on it, work on it. He couldn't get it to work. He checked on getting it fixed, and it was going to be way too much money. So we were like, we need to sell it to somebody that can fix it themselves. So that's what we did. Anyway, we put a bunch of stuff. I'm reaching back for a label um would put a bunch of stuff on that post and y'all most everything on the post sold within a few hours and people were coming that afternoon and picking up their stuff and giving us cash money and we were like wow we like this no no wonder there's so many of our friends that like once a month <laughs> they're putting up for sale posts I mean, you know, you have those friends. Every month, they're like, for sale posts, Venmo or cash by Friday. It's like, how do you have so much stuff? I don't, I don't get that. But I did like people coming and giving me cash money for my stuff that is just cluttering up my garage. <laughs> I can now park my vehicle back in my garage. Yay. Oh, goodness. I like this one. Live your life. Just live it, y'all. Live your life. <laughs> We're having a giggle fest today, I guess. Oh, well. 
Better than a cry fest for me anyway. I like that lots and lots and lots better. I'm so glad I found my found my giggle again. Alright. Do I want to add anything else to that? I don't know. I like it how it is. That's so cute, y'all. Look how pretty it is. Then you open up this top flap and you have this here. I am not doing anything to the inside to cover any of that up. It is staying as is. Here we go. Cute little stuffs to put in there. Ain't it pretty? And that is not like vintage style ephemera at all, but I just reached and got whatever came first. So see, I've got plenty of room to add taller stuff if I want to into that pocket, and there's plenty of room for more stuff in that pocket if we want to put it in there. And let's do this one. This one just needs a little something something. Let's reach over into my Taper Lodgy box that's got all kinds of goodness in it. I love this Taper Lodgy box. Look at that, how pretty that is. I wanna cut out one of those squares to put on there. And, hmm, what else, what else? Hey, I didn't mean to go all English on y'all right there, but that was, that was cute. I thought it was cutie. <laughs> I love that. So this is another one of those that's got the adhesive on the back and you have to separate it. But I will tell you one thing. Taper Lodges is a lot easier to do than the ones we get from way, way, way across the pond. Ooh, those are hard. Those are hard to get the back off. Great goodness. Uh, which one do I want? I want this little bottom one. Let's go ahead and cut off the whole bottom row. And I have my um, Taper Lodge affiliate link in the description box below. It's in all of my videos, or all the recent ones anyway. Let's do that, maybe, with a little that, maybe. I like it. Cute. As a little bug. Ink the edges and get that backer off again look at there like butter i love taper lodgy they got some good stuff good vintage stuff Ooh, the glue bottle almost fell on the microphone that would not have been good go and put this up just a little bit higher than that I like that and let's look at hmm the white ones let's do make a wish that's cute <gasps> no let's do this one it says use your wings how darling is that? Because we got a little... Do we have a little bird? No. We got a little pear that's upside down. I don't care. <laughs> oh my word. Hey, but it was on that sheet like that. Oh well. I didn't put it up to my eyeball close enough to tell that that was a pear. It looks like a bird to me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move that up just a little bit because as you can tell, when you close it up, that little circle was covering up some of it. So I'm going to move it up. Just a touch. Yep, like that. Use your wings. Ain't that cute? You just want to open it up and see matches in there. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm full of the jokes today, y'all. Full of the jokes. Is that too wide? A little bit. I think most all of those are the same width. Maybe that one's a little bit skinnier. Oh, yeah, that one is. It's good. It's too tall. <laughs> this is all from the Taper Lodgy box, too. Look how pretty these are. Look at that. They go just go just go just. How about that? Is it too tall too? Mmm. Mmm. Just by the hair of its chinny chin chin. Or its bald head, whichever one. But it's too tall. That one is too, ain't it? Look, I'm just gonna go through all the taper lodgy stuff and I guess they have like this set height that they do. <laughs> so give it up, Melina. It's not gonna work. It's not happening. So put something else in there. There we go. Let's dream. You can dream that it would fit, but it's not gonna fit. I don't look like I inked the inside of this one. There we go. Pretty, and it will hold plenty more stuff. I just put that one little piece in there. So, that is how we have made the matchbook style ephemera holders. And these, this one would be cute with some of that Tim Holtz wallpaper, the borders that come in it. You could add some of those into there. That would be cute. Very, very cute. And this one could hold some fall stuff. I love that idea. So anyway, that is what I have made today for M Scrapbusters. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you make any of these, be sure to uh, tag me in it. You can tag me at uh, Molina Pilot or Me Crafty Scrapper or um, M's Scrapbusters, the hashtag that we have for this challenge if you have any questions feel free to leave me a comment below and please leave me comments and thank y'all so much for watching the entire video that helps me so much with youtube's algorithms they um, like to kind of cut you off if you got people just watching a few minutes of a video and um, so i appreciate all of my loyal subscribers for watching all the way through it helps me so much y'all are a blessing so i'll see you in the next video god bless y'all have a great day love ya bye y'all